Okay, um, hi everybody and welcome to this uh, postgraduate tour open day in the Department of African Studies and Anthropology. So it's already two acronyms for you, PGT and DASA, which I'll mention a couple of times, so sorry about that. Um, as Matt said, I'm Dr. Jessica Johnson um, and I'm the postgraduate admissions tutor in the department. Um, I'm going to talk you through a bit of an introduction to the department and to the programmes that we offer to postgraduate taught students. Um, so let me move through these slides. Um, so the Department of African Studies and Anthropology was founded in 1963 by John Fage as part of a wider institutionalisation of the interdisciplinary study of Africa at the time. So for over 50 years, we've been a centre of world leading research and teaching in interdisciplinary African studies with meaningful connections with African institutions and scholars. And while our roots are as a centre of West African studies, um, we've since expanded to cover other regions of the continent as well as the diaspora. And we maintain close engagement with African societies and academic institutions in our work. So that's a sort of um, just very, um, very loose first introduction to the kind of key key things about the department that, that sort of make us who we are. On the screen now, you should be able to see a list of current staff members in the department. Dr. Insa Nolte is our current head of department. And what I thought I'd do at this stage is just introduce you to a couple of key research projects that are going on in the department at the moment. So the first is called An Archive of Activism, Gender and Public History in Postcolonial Ghana. And this is led by Dr. Kate Skinner. Um, it's a research project that involves collaboration with Ghanaian researchers, as well as activists and visual artists. And one of the outputs of this project will be a documentary film, in addition to academic writings and media engagement and blog posts and other forms of writing. But the film's really distinctive um, contribution of this project. It's a project that's funded by the British Academy's Sustainable Development Programme, which is linked to the government's Global Challenges Research Fund. Um, and the focus of the project is on Ghanaian women's organizing and campaigning strategies under different kinds of governments. So under military governments, single party governments and short lived multi party governments, particularly in the period between the mid 1960s and the early 1990s, which is not not the best well so far well studied period in Ghanaian history. So it's um, it's helping us to understand both that period and different different um, conditions under different forms of government. The aim of the project is to reshape public understandings of gender activism as an integral part of Ghana's national history and international relations. So to pl place gender activism at the center of the story that we tell about Ghana's history, both within Ghana and beyond its borders. So that's one of the research projects currently being led by members of our department. A second is, um, is by Marco Denuncio. And this is an ethnographic research project called Conspiracies to Build the Political and Moral Economy of Construction Booms. And it focuses on a particular construction boom in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, which is where Marco has conducted extensive ethnographic research. For this project, he's been working with a range of different actors, including architects, real estate developers, um, militant union workers, and ordinary residents of the city. Um, and in his work, he spends a lot of time with these different kinds of participants in the transformation of the city of Addis Ababa. And this project not only puts the construction boom in the context of capitalist development and growing inequalities, but also looks at the ways in which the construction boom is reshaping notions of responsibility and entitlement, and in turn effectively constraining the emergence of the politics of justice in the city. So it's very much related to developments in urban anthropology and in the anthropology of morality, putting this in the context of a moral economy approach. Also central to the research in this department um, is the Cadbury Research Fellowship Scheme and Conference, which has been running since 2002. And it's a scheme that enables us to bring early career scholars from African institutions into the department for an extended period of time. And during that time, they engage in a series of different activities, which are always tailored to the theme each year. So each year has a theme and it's always um, it's different. Um, and it culminates the end of the um, fellowship, residential fellowship ends in a conference. Um, and it's something that we very much encourage our postgraduate students to participate in and to learn from. And it's really an important aspect of the social and research calendar in the department. So it's, it's um, you know, each year it's, it's a, an important aspect of what we do. 
And that's a kind of, although it um, takes place over an extended period of time, it's a sort of one-off event. But we also have um, throughout the academic year, a regular series of talks that we call Africa Talks, that we are able to invite scholars from elsewhere within the university and beyond the university to talk to us about their research on Africa. And even during the current times in which we can't hold these as face to face seminars in, in our department, we're continuing this by Zoom. And the, um, the positive side of that, the kind of added benefit, is that we can have more participants from Africa involved as speakers and as discussants and chairs in our talks. Um, so, so that's something that potentially we'll look to continue even um, as we tr um, move more of these things in person. So it gives you some sense of the department as a place in which to study and the kind of expertise that's brought to bear in our teaching. Um, I'd like now to um, talk to you about the postgraduate programmes that we offer. Um, and that's three, three programmes in particular, the MA in African Studies, the MA Africa and Development, and the MA Social Research African Studies. The first two can both be studied either full or part time. Um, well, the MA Social Research is only available as a full-time programme. So these MA programmes all consist of 180 credits. Students register for 12 months, um, unless they're taking this as a part-time course, in which case they register for 24 months. And they take six, six courses totaling 120 credits, after which they write a 15,000 word thesis on a topic of their choice for 60 credits. And each programme has a different combination of core and optional modules that I'll talk you through in a second. So the MA African Studies is taught entirely within the Department of African Studies and Anthropology, or DASA. The MA Africa and Development is taught with the International Development Department, IDD. And the MA Social Research African Studies is taught with the College of Social Sciences. And that one is oriented to research training, um, in particular. So it's something that some of the funding bodies, in particular the um, research councils, make a precondition for PhD funding. So it's often a program that people take where they are intending to do a PhD and perhaps they're in receipt of um, ESRC or AHRC 1 plus 3 funding. So to talk to you about the MA African Studies, this has three compulsory elements and a dissertation, well, which includes a dissertation of 15,000 words and then two, um, two modules. So those modules are both taken within the Department of African Studies and Anthropology. There's Research Skills and Methods in African Studies, which is our flagship training module for postgraduate students. And then Advanced Perspectives on Africa, which looks at quite closely at recent texts written about Africa in a very focused way. And then there are four 20 credit modules that the students take from um, the options available in the department, um, which which may include the kinds of modules that I've listed here. This is an indicative list because each year the list of available modules changes depending on staff availability um, and so on. So this gives you a sense um, of the kinds of modules that we offer, but it shouldn't be taken as a, a list of uh, modules offered in any particular year. And I can't um, explain why half of those have come up in bold and half of them haven't. So um, that, that doesn't signal anything in particular about the modules. Um, so this programme gives you a broad introduction to African studies as an interdisciplinary field with scope to specialise it through your choice of optional modules and through your dissertation topic. And it's suitable for students who intend to go on to carry out academic research in Africa. But it also helps to develop a range of skills that are relevant to a wide range of careers, um, you know, oral and written communication skills, skills of analysis and evaluation, problem solving, independent working, research skills. So students who take this, some of them do go on to do further study um, and others go into um, different kinds of work, including um, work in, in non-governmental organisations and in different institutions within Africa or with a focus on Africa. The MA Africa and Development also has three compulsory elements. It similarly has a 15,000 word dissertation, and then it has one compulsory module in each of the departments that run this, this course. So there's a compulsory module in IDD, International Development, and there's a compulsory module with us, Livelihoods and Development in Africa. And beyond that, again, there are four optional modules, and ideally that would be two taken in each of the departments, but there is some flexibility there depending on the student individual um, 
kind of in research interests and focus and depending on the, the modules available within each department students might choose to do more in one than the other um, Again, these are indicative lists that give you a sense of the kinds of modules that we tend to offer, but they shouldn't be taken as a kind of full list of, of what will be available in a particular year. So this program combines interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary African studies with a strong focus on international development. And it's ideal for students who want to work in the development sector or to conduct further research on development in Africa. So lots of students who take this do go on to do further research specifically on development topics. Others go into work in the development industry. And, and you're, those are, you're not limited to those options, but they are kind of common um, ambitions that student have, students have who take this program. And finally, the MA Social Research African Studies has five compulsory modules, um, sorry, six compulsory um, modules, um, including the dissertation, and then a further one optional module that's usually taken from those available in our department. And I haven't reproduced here the list of um, modules in our department, but it would be the same um, as those that were shown on the previous slides. So in DASA, you would take the Research Skills and Methods in African Studies module, um, which, which um, focuses on, um, on methodological training for, um, for students in the disciplines that make up African Studies. So there's historical methods involved, anthropological methods involved, um, focus on research ethics and other elements of working as a researcher in Africa. Um, and then there are four taught modules within the College of Social Sciences, which all focus on different elements of research methods. And then there's the one um, 20 credit optional module from within our department. And this program is ideal preparation for students intending to go on to do a PhD in African studies, because it really gives you a foundation in um, research methods and helps you to uh, um, sort of hone your research um, statement, your research um, proposal for your PhD project. So just to wrap up, I'd like to say a couple of words of what it's about what it's like to be a postgraduate taught student in our department um, and the kind of support that we provide you. So importantly, you'll have a personal tutor and that's somebody that you can check in with on a regular basis to talk through your academic progress, but also to talk through any other concerns or questions that you might have. Um, you'll also have a dissertation supervisor and this person is usually chosen during the course of your um, programme. So it's generally the case that students don't arrive for one of these master's courses with a particular supervisor in mind or already allocated. But as their ideas for their dissertation develop, it will become apparent who in the department would be best placed to supervise that project. Um, and then the, that connection will be established and, and supervision for the dissertation will begin. Um, we also really hope that our PGT students in DASA will be active participants in our research community um, within DASA and the wider School of History and Cultures. So in addition to our Africa talks and our Cadbury um, workshops and conference each year, there are also um, research events and so on organised in the Department of History and the Department of um, Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology, which are the other departments that make up the School of History and Cultures. Um, and there are, there's a research um, group that, that draws people together from across those um, departments. And these are the kinds of research events that we really hope that our students will take part in and, and take full advantage of. Um, there's one final slide, which is um, just to, to clarify that in the context of COVID-19, we are having to be kind of very responsive and it is possible that changes will be made. So that's just to make you aware of that.